Jonathan in Minneapolis, Minnesota, listening on Minnesota's Progressive Voice, AM 950. Hey, Jonathan, what's up? Hey, Tom, I was just calling in response to your guest, mm -hmm. talking about the, the snow in Minnesota, because I've been dealing with that uh -huh. and looking forward to spring. And I'm, I'm like you, I'm wearing warm shirts right now. And when I look at it, I'm thinking, I took an astronomy class, and the Earth is getting to be as close to the sun in the northern hemisphere as it ever will. And yet we're still dealing with snow. So I would tell you that it's atmospheric. And you think that we are losing so much of the polar ice caps. And I told my daughter when we were looking at the snow in uh, April and May, I said, uh, well, at least now we know where the polar ice caps went. Yeah. Well, literally, that's and what that's happened. I mean, you know, there's 5% more water vapor in the atmosphere. Probably a fair amount of it came from the melting and evaporation of all that, all that snow, all that polar ice. And it's, it's coming down on you. Yep, and and I don't see that that it, I mean once once like we really run out of polar ice caps, I don't see the snowfall maintaining. Yeah, I say like well, once we get to the point where we're like facing record heat and drought and stuff, then then what is the other side going to say? Oh, I guess you were right. Well, oh, what they're doing great. basically, what the Koch brothers, Nexon Mobil, and the groups who fund these these think tanks are doing is they're saying. You know, we've got several trillion dollars worth of oil, gas, and coal on our books as assets. And we will spend millions or even tens or hundreds of millions of dollars to be able to extract as much of those trillions of dollars worth of oil, coal, and gas as we possibly can you know, before, before it becomes obvious that we can't do it anymore. And so they're just, they know that they are, uh, they are the buggy, buggy whip industry. They know that they are, you know, phased for extinction. But at the same time, they also, and, and I suppose there's probably still one or two buggy whip makers in the world. I mean, we'll always use a little bit of oil or coal in various ways as raw materials for things. But, but um, this is all about getting the, you know, as many dollars as possible as fast as possible and damn the consequences. And they're putting... They're putting your children and mine, and you know, if I had grandchildren, I wish <laughs> one of these days, um, and 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 everybody else is uh, at tremendous risk. Uh, it's just it is mind-boggling. Jonathan, thank you for the call and thanks for your kind comments. Uh, Robert in Denver, hey Robert. Uh, hey Tom. So CO two and chemistry. Yeah, you know, hey, I uh, love your show. Uh, Thank you for everything you do. Sure. Um, a voice of reason is really appreciated. Uh, so, yeah, your, your guest, uh, I don't know, seems uh, really sophomoric uh, to me. I didn't go to college. I've been reading an old uh, textbook of my wife's, mm -hmm. General Chemistry, right? It was mm -hmm. 1982. Mm -hmm. um, carbon dioxide will continue to dissolve into the ocean until it reaches saturation, if I understand things correctly. Right. Yeah. And okay, there's... Right? Yeah. So, well, I, I, I was just appalled at, at the level of intelligence that he displayed. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think he's asserting that the oceans are at saturation, and I don't think that that's the case. I really don't. And, oh, well, I hope not. Yeah. If it was, that would just mean we're in much worse shape than we're in. Right. Than we, than we currently think, right? Right, and and, uh, and 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 carbon dioxide also um, can, you know, combine with and mix with other things and form other forms of. But but principally, it's carbon dioxide. It's, it's turning the oceans acidic. You know, it's it's uh, so yeah yeah. It's the it's the more there is in the atmosphere, the more there will be in the oceans. This is I believe it's kind of chemistry one hundred and one. Um, Robert, thank you for the call. Just speaking of uh, uh, school teachers, uh, Charles, you're a, a former school teacher. Yes, I'm a recovering school teacher, Tom. Okay. Uh, I'm driving a truck. Okay. And uh, one of the, one of the things uh, that he just said is correct. It diffuses into the ocean until it reaches saturation. But as the ocean's warm, it gives off the oxygen that it absorbs quicker than it does the carbon dioxide. Okay. The only time that water warms and that it gives away carbon dioxide is when it's under high pressure such as when you have a soda or what have you. Mm -hmm. And as the soda warm, it gets rid of the carbon dioxide. Right, but the bubbles come out. But that's because it's supersaturated at that point. Right. The right. other thing he forgot to mention was, is yes, we're a little cooler here this, this year, 
But Australia is carrying record heat along right. with southern parts of Africa and South America. Right. And, of course, as the uh, uh, carbon dioxide absorbs in the water, it uh, will mix with the water and form a uh, compound called carbonic acid, which is why the oceans get more acidic as they absorb more carbon dioxide. Thank you for that. I was, I was grasping in my mind for the compound that the carbon dioxide would convert into that would, you know, even if we're at saturation, it, as it converts into carbonic acid, that allows the ocean to absorb more carbon dioxide, correct? That's correct. Okay. And also, the other thing is, is it's not osmosis. That has to have a, a actual working membrane. Right. And that's it's the I called was diffusion. Yeah. I, okay. So it's called diffusion, where it goes across the surface uh, surface tension of the water. Of the water. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. I, you know, it's been a long time since I took science. So diffusion, not osmosis. Got it, Charles. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. It's great to have teachers listening to the show.